Hello again, Herd. We are the Herdsmen. I am Mark. I'm Grant. And we're back with another food review. A little tassel here. Uh, it is uh, Christmas time, and of course, there's nothing more traditional in the Christmas uh, family in our tradition growing up. Um, we always uh, would gather around the uh, the uh, hearth, as it were, mm -hmm. and uh, we would enjoy some um, uh, fish sausage. And yes, I remember those dear, dear Christmas times. Oh, the fish sausage from Korea. It was beautiful. Okay, so that's ridiculous. Uh, it's never been a Christmas tradition. I don't think it's a Christmas tradition anywhere. Uh, but today we are sampling. Um, this is Dong Wan uh, fish sausage. Uh, now, fish sausage is please something... Don't please don't demonetize us, you two. <laughs> So this is what it looks like, okay? And when I looked up other YouTube videos about how to prepare it and that kind of thing, there are not many, believe it or not. This, uh, they said it's like hot dogs. You can, you can eat it raw like this or you can fry it up. I learned a lesson with Spam a few years back when we did a video of Spam and we're gonna cook it up. And so I did cook it up and uh, it looks like this. And I don't know how well you can see that, but they're little slices, little slices, and they're just little flour, and then uh, did a little egg wash on them and, and put them through. It doesn't look that bad. Well, also... you know, the fact that you have to say it not that bad means that it is that bad. Yeah. But, I mean, if you didn't know what this was, there's nothing aesthetically that makes you think, Ugh. Yeah. Now, I have to tell you, when I was slicing it, getting it ready to fry, it had an odor to it that I was not uh, terribly excited about. Let's um, check that smell. But smell now. See, it smells like fried eggs to me. Yeah. You know, so with that egg wash, it smells like fried eggs. I thought that I was going to need this big time, uh, but I, I don't know that we are. I, I'm not nearly as afraid of this as I was earlier. So You've here we go. Since then. <laughs> let's, let's have one. Cheers. Give it a try. Okay. Um, oh, you know, uh, it's not bad at first. At first, it kind of, there's a taste to it that I, I'm familiar with. Do you get what you... Yeah. You know? um, it's, uh, a, it's what it says. It's fish. I get a fishy sort of taste, sort of like when you have sushi, maybe something like squid. Something like that. But, but not that strong. Not that strong. Only, it's the same sort of fish flavor that, like, well, the like grape Kool-Aid has when it says it's grape flavored. It, it has a hint of it, but not that much. I'm trying a more cooked one. I, so, I gotta say, I don't like it. It, it, went, it went in waves. Because at first, I didn't like it at all, because oh. I didn't taste anything. It just tasted solid. Oh. Go ahead. Keep going. Sorry. Yeah, and then it had that fishy taste, which I like the fishy taste, but there's nothing that made it distinct. It was just, it went from uh, nothing to unremarkable oh. to just a bad consistency. I think that's part of it. I think the consistency is a big part of it. Um it has a consistency of like a, a spam, sort of. Yeah. But the ingredients, the first ingredient, the biggest ingredient in here is fish paste. I love that it gives a description <laughs> of what's in fish paste. Yeah, so all of these hair things. tail. Oh, what so is hair tail? I don't... Hair tail. Sorbitol, sugar, acidity regulator, which is something there, cornstarch, milk cream. That's what really got me. Yeah, it, got it, it, said, it says right here, Milk cream, 7.75%. That has to mean something in Korea. Because you wouldn't put that on a package unless it were, it would mean I, I something. Think I think it's because of, um, it oh. isn't a lot of the, correct me if I'm racistly wrong, uh, isn't a lot of the Asian community lactose intolerant? Wow. Wow. That was really racist. Um uh, but yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> so that actually would make sense so, to advertise, oh, this thing that's going to cause you a lot of trouble of, tomorrow night. And, and we call tonight. that gastrointestinal distress. And we've been there with We call it trapping your pants. Or that. It's, it's translatable. Um, 
But I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's why. Let us know in the comments if you know that. If you are Korean or you grew up Korean or, or you just happen to have that knowledge, let us know why they would make that point. Um, Mrs. Herdsman is making funny faces at me right now as if I've just said something incredibly offensive. So I hope I have not. Um, okay. To be fair, that's just her resting face. So oh, you are, you are going to get it. You are going to get it big. Anyway, um, so as far as cows go, how many cows would you give this? Uh, 0.5. It's uh, completely unremarkable, and it has no right to be. It, it, it should at least oh. be rem remarkably bad. I, lo I love the way you look at things like that, that, that it has no right to be unremarkable. I agree. I, I think that it's something that could be really amazing. Um, I think if you grew up with this, it's probably something that you you really like. Like we grew up, I grew up with meatloaf. I tend to like meatloaf uh, and a lot of people don't. I tend to gotten sick of it. Yeah, absolutely. But so I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go, I'm going to give it one. One cow, just based on the fact that I can tell it is human food. Um, you know, it, it I, I think our cat may like it and we may give that a try. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it's not strong. I, I don't know though. You know, if you're adventurous and you like, like, like seafood stuff, give it a try. I, I you, you know, this was amazing. This was like $2. I want to say it was like two bucks, two ninety nine, something like this for this huge roll of this. So, uh, give it a try. Uh, once again, we went to our, um, uh, our favorite Vietnamese, uh, Via market, Hua. Via Hua in, uh, uh, Indianapolis, um, Anyway, that's where we got it. If you ever wanted to go there, you can get it. Um, that is all from us today. Uh, we want to thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and clicking that like button and uh, the uh, uh, notifications bell there. Hit that so you don't miss any Herdsman video. Um, we just wish you a Merry Christmas as well. We'll probably do another video over the holidays, but we do wish you a Merry right. Christmas. Happy holidays. We just, uh, we, we just want to send our love to everybody. And uh, hoping that this next year is going to be better than this past year. Uh, we're ready to move on to 2021. Anyway, that is all from us today. As always, don't, don't be afraid, afraid to join, join the, the herd. herd. Yeah, yeah. herd.